Tale here on YouTube, Rich Gen X elsewhere, and it's time for the final installment of the Killer Instinct games. At least of my Killer Instinct ladder videos. Ladder slash story mode, because we're gonna do the last two that have stories. Since uh, all the others are more linked to this shadow play. And we only have two left, Cinder who was in the first game and Arya who is new to the franchise in Killer Instinct 3. Let's see, story mode, Ultra Combo Gal Glacius, Ultra Combo Omen, be on hard or higher difficulty, Ultra Combo every opponent. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Although I have managed the special combo break every opponent. Oh wow, I did. I well, got that. I have a hundred percent shadow efficiency in a single match. Combo, combo, combo. Full gore in the pinnacle. Land a full auto barrage on every opponent. Restore him up. Well, let's go with Cinder. Now, of course, once I get done with this, I'm going to start doing the ladder modes on the other fighting games I have. After ten years in Special Forces, Ben Ferris decided it was time for a raise. So he went where the money is, corporate espionage. The oh. only thing bigger than his ego was his talent. And before long, he landed a contract on the world's most powerful company. That's when Ben finally met his better. Arya destroyed Ben's frail body, but even she could see that his skills were valuable. Ben was submitted to an experimental program called Project Cinder. Using alien DNA, Ben's genetic code was altered permanently, turning him into a being of pure, uncontrollable plasma energy. Arya constructed a suit that allows Ben to control his power and unleash it at will. Ultratech has improved on perfection, making Ben better in every way. And working for Arya allows him to show off his skills to the whole world. Wow. Orkin and TJ unleashed a PR nightmare on Ultratech by releasing the Ripter footage. Cinder decides it's finally time they took a turn in the hot seat. Oh yeah. I would not want to be you today. Target spotted. This should be. This quick. should be quick. Okay, looking now, looking all these. Yeah. 
He's an arrogant ass, isn't he? Hmm. Spinal insanity is making him an unpredictable liability, so Cinder decides to pay the undead warrior a visit and beat him back into obedience. Oh boy. Arya has told Cinder that she will handle the spirit his cycle, but Cinder can't help but wonder if ghosts can burn. Ooh! 
never gotten a godlike combo before. At least not that I'm aware of. I'm old. I might not remember it too. No style. <laughs> Alrighty. As a Fulgore plant, Cinder uses a group of Fulgores as target practice, but the extreme heat causes them to malfunction and attack the Ultra Tech employees. Mondays, right? <laughs> Ready. Same combo only because I didn't get the because for some reason he doesn't wanna Oh come on! Agonos's fading life force. He uses tech from the Fulgore program to supplant the war golem's mind and forces him to hunt down his old allies. Oh! So they yeah, here they all interweave. Yeah. Extreme. 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 Extreme.
Okay, we've now kicked Agonos' butt as Cinder. Yeah, he's an evil bastard, isn't he? Alright, so what we got next? Cinder droids ultra text assault on Maya and her allies. He wonders if they check the forecast because it looks like a heat wave is headed their way. Oh, God. Now I go along with the law. I like this the background on this music. Or this background. The background on this stage and the music, that music was beautiful. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have to look up all these taunts for that. I'm not gonna check those stats now. <laughs> During the Cinder experiments, Ben's DNA was combined with alien DNA stolen from Glacius. And from the painful procedures that followed, a superior creation arose. But Glacius doesn't see Cinder as a superior. Glacius is furious with Arya for exploiting his DNA and creating Cinder, a bastardization of the alien's race. Cinder is left with no option. If Glacius will not see that Cinder is superior, a demonstration is required. Yeah. Fire and ice.
Is this gonna be his last battle in this game? Ooh. Ah! Nothing worse than having an itch when you, when you have to have both hands on the controls. Crazy! Crazy way to miss you! No, I always thought uh, that Cinder was a, uh, an ex-con or something. A prisoner taken from a program. Alright. So let's see, does this end his story? Oh, after a slew of disappointments, Arya has determined that her old lieutenant, Sadira, has outlived her usefulness and sends Cinder to destroy her. Yes! Burn the spooder woman. Yinditon Raf Sueb Kong Chan. Burn Spider Bitch. Crazy. No, no, the scooter woman must die. Get rid of them, sir. burn you and all these spooners to death. has proven himself Arya's strongest lieutenant, and Arya entrusts him with command of Ultratech's clandestine operations. Cinder will be at Arya's side as the world falls under Ultratech's protection. But standing over his old ally, Cinder realizes that someday, Arya might deem him obsolete as well. The thought amuses him. Arya may be powerful, but she cannot stop the sun from rising. Hmm. Yeah. Well, now that we've done Cinder's story, Kim Woo, she I think was introduced really in the second game. But now, we're gonna finish this off with the last of these characters, and that is Arya. Aria. Yep. So let's do Arya's story here. For too long, 
Humanity has avoided progress and endured in weakness. There was a time when every day the human race was confronted with hardships, and it overcame them all. Now yeah. humanity is an insipid, distracted species, dooming itself to pointless lives with little desire to evolve. And the future is on its doorstep. Humanity's day is passing. It is only a matter of time until a stronger species overtakes it. Aria mm. is here to save it. Humanity without frailty. That is her directive. That is her purpose. Humanity is on the eve of its greatest trial. And Aria is here to relieve humans of their weaknesses. And drag them kicking and screaming into the future. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds right. Noble. Two years ago, using decoy long-range distress signals, Arya lures Glacius to the Earth's surface. Securing the alien's technology will be the first step to ad an advanced humanity. Evolve or die. Make your choice. <laughs> Shadow shotgun, shadow explosive. It requires drones. Ow! Oh, how did I switch? Oh! Oh wow, look at that. Attempts to recruit Sadira and her League of Assassins to head up Ultratech's clandestine operations, but assassins only respect power, and the display of force is required. Yes, let's beat up Mitch Spider Mitch. <laughs> Oh no, we've lost one of our units! 
Let's up the power. Second gun like in this recording. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh my god. Awesome victory. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, awesome victory only. Well, after that. Oh. Second Ultra. And of course with the damn frickin' gigantic spooter. Ooh. With Glacius Technology, Ultra Tech begins to de develop the world's most advanced super soldier. It is a beautiful machine, but requires a massive amount of power. Actually, a way to perform all the uh, always perform an ultra combo. Self? All right. One year ago, the Fulgore program required a human element in order to achieve its fully full potential, but her prize was not won as easily as she thought. Ah! Walk 
Switch gears. Oh, we got an ultra going on. of research, Ultratech has finally decoded place uses DNA sample stolen in the fight with Arya. Work begins on the hybrid so on a hybrid soldier, the best of humanity and alien genetics. I would not want to be you oh, look at that. That's classic. basically finish your moves. Wow. Now Orchid has been a thorn in Arya's side for too long and now and has now recruited allies, but Arya has a plan that should lead her directly to her hiding spot. <laughs> Target spotted. This should be quick. Don't bet on it. Bitch! <laughs> Ready. 
Uh oh. Well, the world cannot rely on you. Squish. Supreme victory. Let's see. Yeah, no ultra that time. Pardon. Ultratech Labs detect a dimensional disturbance in South America. Ari investigates it herself, discovering the sorcerer Kanra. Delirious. You make a fine specimen. <laughs> saw this day coming. She spent years planning this precise moment. Years of developing weapons and securing powerful allies. Until finally, it was time to put the plan in motion. The temple in South America was just the spark. The sorcerer Khan Ra could be relied upon for his lust for power. And a few poorly guarded breadcrumbs led him right where Arya wanted. The fault of releasing Gargos, the ancient terror, lies with the sorcerer. Earth's uh -oh. forces are outmatched, and at this moment, Ultratech's enemies are being silenced, leaving Arya poised to rally all of the world under her banner as the savior of humanity. Oh, it's going to be Arya versus Omen. Arya wants Gargos's first glimpse of Earth to be of her destroying his prized herald. Oh. For the Herald of Gargus.
In 1948, yep. in the wake of World War II, Riot Adams made a promise mm. to free the world from poverty, from war, from frailty. For over 60 years, the Ultrafine Atomic Technologies Company has been working toward that goal. Mm. Bringing medical treatments and vaccinations to over 40 countries. Inventing technologies that extend human lifespan and intelligence. And in 1989, Ultratech gave us its greatest gift. The Advanced Robotics Intelligence Architecture, known to the world as ARIA. The first sentient artificial being on planet Earth. Aria was built to see Mr. Adams' promise of peace come true. Long after he left us. America, we have breaking news for you. A video of the sky opening up above the downtown area. And what appears to be a creature of unknown origin. Residents are fleeing the city and the president has declared a state of emergency. Time to evolve. And you the response. And this is what would lead into this uh, Shadow King storyline, or Shadow uh, Lords, which is not as much as what this game was in the beginning. And unfortunately, we don't have a story with any characters for that, that were included in that response, or in that installment. So we are basically done with the ladders and stories. And I don't know if I'm ever gonna do something like that with the uh, Shadow Lords. I tried it, it did not seem to be what I was aiming for. But, you know, we did have fun with this. Um, next time round, when we come to this on Friday again, I'm going to start going through the fighting games I've already done through the story mode on and working on all their ladders. And that's going to take a while, I'm certain of that. I might do it again like this as a uh, two quote character format. But we're going to be going through the Mortal Kombat characters, fighters, uh, the Mor well, Mortal Kombat 9 fighters, then the Injustice fighters, then the Mortal Kombat. 10 fighters, and then the Justice 2 fighters, and then Mortal Kombat 11 fighters. However, until next time, until the next time a video airs for this, uh, I do hope you have fun watching this. I do hope you've enjoyed this. And, like I said, and as always, I do invite you to watch the rest of the videos that are on the channel. I am working my way through a lot of games that premiere at 3 p.m. Uh, part of the two-week cycle at 3 p.m. premieres uh, usually from the LucasArts Library, the Sierra Library. I think with LucasArts, I'm working on Indiana Jones right now. Uh, I think currently Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine, working my way through the King's Quest franchise. I think currently on King's Quest 3, working through the Doom franchise, following Doom Guy slash Doom Slayer. Uh, working my way through the runs from Game of Monster, I'm working with Monstrum, working my way through the Tomb Raider 4 Designs timeline, working my way through the Sherlock Holmes franchise, working my way through the Zork franchise, and a bunch of other stuff that premieres every day at 3 p.m. And every week, 10 a.m., Tuesday through Saturday, I have videos from here. Tuesday is usually a big reading, Wednesday is Final Fantasy VII. Thursday is either Dead by Daylight or Monster 2. Friday is the, well, fighting games. <laughs> and Saturdays are usually a retrospective. So please subscribe to the channel, check everything out, and until next time, again, Rich Kale here on YouTube, Rich Gen X elsewhere. And goodbye all as we get ready for the kit, these credits. <laughs> Eagle. Thank you. Bye all.